So just putting together a rough layout like always. Um, in this case, I wanted to be a little bit more modular like the masonry kids you guys see um, from time to time. And I, I, or I had already uh, sketched out something rough on uh, pencil and paper. Now, um, I'm just looking for fonts. I have Sky Fonts, I think, for Mac, which is pretty good um, because it helps you import Google Fonts right into your computer so you can use them in applications like Sketch. So yeah, just getting my typography together um, and Netflix and get up coolers. Um, I usually just end up at flaticolors.com. I was trying cooler for a little bit um, and I seem to have found it. And a lot of the times I, I'll whip out that calculator to figure out the uh, distances and lengths and all that. Now I'm just putting together uh, the main opt-in or call to action. Um, this is what I want all the visitors to be doing. That's flaticon.com. I, I get most of my icons there. Pretty cool. And try to make something a skeuomorphic. But I ended up going to uh, the typical um, flat design setup. And that's a drop down right there. And uh, you'll notice I, I'm, I'm making these and then I'm creating classes or styles from them. Uh, so styles in, in, um, in Sketch are like CSS classes. You can set it up once and then you, it'll be re reflected throughout the whole project every time you use it again. Uh, it's kind of cool. And so you have the nav again. That's for whenever you highlight over a certain nav item, that little underline will come in. Got some pretty cool stock photos that I can use. These are all open source or whatever, um, open licensed, so I can use them for my own personal stuff, such as this. And I've actually linked to all of the uh, resources I used in this uh, description for this video, so you can check out the description. Just figuring out and kind of fussing around with the paddings and making everything nice and uniform. And um, just adding some more headings and, and subheadings and descriptions and stuff. Uh, I want it to be very visually pleasing. And uh, I think I wrote down Bali or something. That's a testimonial in the gray area right there. I'm trying to look for some um, headshots so I can put in some guy's face. Whipped out Photoshop, made that, boom. Um, Photoshop is cool for some things. Like I love it for retouching. I think it's irreplaceable for photography retouching, but for web design mockups, I don't think there's anything better than Sketch. They should start an affiliate program so I can start getting paid to tell people how much I love Sketch because I do. There's another uh, blog entry thing I wanted to do and then those ancient temples. Um, I'd love if someone could tell me where those are from. I just put down like Indonesia. I'm not even sure if they're from Indonesia, those ancient temples. And here is the most important part. The uh, That's a final call to action. When someone scrolls down all the way down to the site, you want to guide that user through your website so they can do whatever you, your business does or sign up for whatever your website does. So in this case, this is just the home page and um, you want them to guide it. Uh, you want to guide them through your website. And yeah, now I'm working on the footer or I was for the last few seconds that I was talking about the call to action. And yeah, I'm just setting up um, the hierarchy and making everything look nice and uniform. So, yeah, just kind of making the final touches and adding some social icons. So I want, since it's a travel site, I want people to share their travels or really spread the word about the site on the social media. And yeah, this is it. Just adding the last, there we go, yeah, I put down Bali, Indonesia. Uh, I don't even 
think Bali is in Indonesia. I have to check. And yeah, that's it.